Just like my self-grading math forms, these self-grading word work forms are a huge teacher time saver. Um, you can share the link with your students through Google Classroom or through email, or even use a URL shortener and just give them the link that way. They do not have to have Google accounts in order to use these. Um, you just simply take the link from the top here and um, share that with them. Once students open up the link, this is the screen that they will see here. Um, and each of my forms has a different word work topic. So this one is all about irregular verbs, present tense to past tense. Students fill out their first name and they would fill out their last name. And then I've included a little video for each of them to watch. So they would probably need to have headphones for that. And all of the videos come from YouTube. So you would need to have access to YouTube at your school. Um, there's a description of the topic for students to read, then they watch the video, and then there's a series of questions that they can answer, just like if they were doing it on a paper worksheet. So in this case, they would fill out the past tense of the verb throw. So Jack threw the ball to Damien. They, I, I've made it so that they could do both uppercase or lowercase and they won't be penalized for that. Uh, but you can always take out that answer if you wanted to switch it yourself. So these are just some sample questions. Uh, then down here, uh, I've got a different type of question. So they just read the verb and then change it to the past tense. So bring and then brought. So they would fill all of these questions out and then they would hit submit. Uh, this is what happens now. It, because I hit submit and I missed a question, it'll show that they require an answer in each row there. If you had completed all of the questions, it will submit, it will show them which questions that they got wrong and it'll show the correct answer. And then of course it grades it for you so you don't have any work to do on that end, but you can um, see how the students did. You can see which questions students struggled with the most. When you go to your teacher side here over in Google Forms, you can look at responses. Right now it says zero responses, but when your class is done, you, you'll be able to see who answered which question correctly or incorrectly. Um, so you can use it a, as a planning tool for yourself to plan what you need to teach next. Um, but it's, for me, is a great quick way to assess students after I've taught some lessons on each different word work topic. Um, and I like the fact that I don't have to do any of the grading of it. I don't have any papers that I have to take home. It's all done for me. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can check it out in my TBT shop. You can make a copy of this form for yourself. If you download the, the preview, you've got a, a link to this irregular verbs one that is free for you. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always uh, email me, createdreamexplorek6 at gmail.com.